Doug Doug is a video game challenge streamer and video essayist whose content encompasses analysis, comedy, frustration, community interaction, and storytelling to achieve his goals in the gaming sphere that no one else has yet. While being very known as the guy who is popularized by voice command gaming challenges, Doug occasionally attempts challenges that have nothing to do with being voice operated, as well as explaining video games with food in an analytical yet comedic way. Luigi finished the first cake and Nintendo runs over to you, rips your cake out of the oven, dumps it in the freaking trash and yells, all right, everybody, start a new cake, go. And you say, wait, 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 why'd you just throw out my cake? His genuine personality shows his dedication to his work. And although he may not always be 100% successful in his quest to do what seems to be impossible, enjoyment is radiating from himself despite how difficult it may be. Stop, 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 stop. No! <laughs> So far. It wasn't always this way, however, as documented by his archived content consisting of Hearthstone and pro player spotlights under the name Glutus. The Hearthstone productions relate to tips, sarcastic card ideas, stories, Hearthstone sounds in serious situations part 1 and 2, sound mashups, a comedic cooking video, remixes, as well as some other random video ideas that have to do with Hearthstone in some way, shape, or form. On the other hand, the pro player spotlights were basically a Gems of the Internet-esque series if Master Reith was addicted to Hearthstone. On the third hand, in between the catalog of Doug's Hearthstone addiction, the first voice command gaming video that was established with his creativity shows a glimpse of what was in store for Doug Doug's future as a creator. Mouse grid. Five. Five click. Okay. That very future was present in the form of an update video addressing his creativity, which helped spring launch his passion. I'm gonna post videos regularly, but they're mostly not going to be about Hearthstone anymore. And the general style that I've sort of landed on is gaming challenges. You know, I don't think it's for everybody. I don't think it's like gonna be widely popular. Yet the very next video has 2.5 million views and will continue to rise over time, which ends up revealing that the change in content dramatically increased his chances of being discovered despite how oddly his search engine optimization is for his creativity. This shift in subject matter echoed the concept of video game challenges regarding his own creativity, which is the overarching theme. These challenges are constructed as if it's a stream compilation by including game footage, slides, fast forwarding the slower portions, and occurred in games such as Hearthstone, Mario, Link, Skyrim, Warcraft, and Smash Bros. Since Doug Doug live streams his infuriating sessions, No, 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 okay, okay, okay. Ooh, uh, ping? No, 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 no! Ah! Included is plenty of chat interaction, especially when he directly inquires the viewers for specific names of movements. Any other suggestions for going forward? Zoom, vegan, Jesus, eggplant. Mountain Dew is pretty good. Obese, Area 51. <laughs> Mountain Dew is currently my favorite. Whenever any of these challenges are in progress, there's always a level of in the moment problem solving. So it's very off course. I'm gonna try to bounce it off something. <laughs> like like a billboard by analyzing what just occurred. I like the executive tug. The problem is that the executive tug is very bad at golf. Then attempting to fix that technical slash mechanical puzzle. After four hours of golf, it looks like Doug has finally decided to retire the Buckingham executive tug. Which, while causing a lot of troubleshooting on his part, <laughs> leads to natural comedic bits. Left, left. No, 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 why are you turning right? No, 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 stop. Right? No, 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 why is it you're driving? Stop! <laughs> what the f I didn't even say anything, dude. And since it's not scripted whatsoever, the plans change over time. The three rules of the International Surfing Association clearly state that you must stay on the main paths. You can't just jump off, that's cheating. Jump off the cliff and land on the side path just above that super steep part. So you cheated. Jump off the cliff and land on the side path just above that super steep part. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll cheat and will bribe the International Surfing Association. This rings true to his motto. Hey, this is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. Along the way of attempting to trek to a difficult goal, many entertaining moments surprise both the audience and Doug himself. Frank, you can't just bail. <laughs> Whether it's Doug raging at a failed attempt. Please turn in. It's, oh, oh my God, just turn. Just turn! Why are you going the opposite direction, Frank? A joke that's uttered from a viewer or the streamer. Dorito. <laughs> so is left dor dorleftos? <laughs> 
the names of the movements, <laughs> the story that's implemented. And now, with these brand new commands, hours of practice, plus a keto protein shake, keto banana, keto Japanese mochi, and keto buttermilk pancake mix, you're finally in the best shape of your life. Or even the time lapses featuring epic backing tracks, usually from another game. always enhances the engaging experience for the people who watch it edited. While gaming challenges are very niche to begin with, Doug Doug goes a step further by incorporating voice commands into his gaming experience. Or slidos. Or sleftos. These voice command gaming challenges are entertaining from beginning to end and are a highlight to Doug's unique creativity. They have custom skins in this game. All right, kids. <laughs> Jesus is taking you to school. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, baby. Um, okay. <laughs> Jesus really wants to get to the Ferris wheel. With the use of VoiceBot Pro, Doug Doug controls the characters using keywords that he speaks. In the process, Doug dissects the basic movements of the character. West. Wait, I thought West. I thought West is left. West. Why is west going right? No, east is east. No, no, east is left. So it's a weast, a not east, a not east, and then an east probably. And equips narration in post-production to explain specific parts to create an overarching story as to not confuse the audience. Now, this hole is actually quite a bit harder because of those mountains, but just like in normal golf, how you can bounce your golf ball around the course, in boat golf, you can keep boosting your boat and then try to bounce it into the hole. This specific gaming experience establishes an exhilarating level of excitement to the point where you're literally on the edge of your seat as Doug Doug approaches the finish line. Jesus, take the wheel. Left. Yes! We did it! <laughs> Welcome to class! As if Doug Doug couldn't get weird enough with his creativity, the series, but explained with food, was established as a video essay-esque take on comparing games while heavily using food in production. These video essays include IRL footage, game footage, pictures, keyframing, and characters, as well as countless metaphors. Every round you press a button on your mystery oven and it sets a random temperature and your baking goes faster or slower as a result. Similes. Picking your character is just like buying chicken in the grocery Store. There are tons of different chicken meats, each with its own characteristics, and so you choose a chicken based on whether it matches your cooking style and tastes. And symbolism. This is a mystery oven. In another minute, you can press the on button again, and the mystery oven will pick a new random temperature for you. See? There you go. And you say, but that's a horrible way to cook. It's a scripted show that has engaging editing, has a talking pepper as the main character, has well-timed jokes that either prove a point. 30 hours later, after you've cooked your 200th steak taco, you eventually say to Red Dead, look, this was really delicious at first, but honestly, I'm getting bored of making the same steak tacos with this same spoon over and over. I want to cook a new recipe, man. And Dutch goes, whoa, your spoon is in poor condition. You got to use some spoon oil to maintain that. And you go, okay, that's cool that I have to maintain my spoon, but that doesn't really change anything. Or are just there for comedic effect. You just gave Luigi a massive lead and I can't actually catch up to him because of my stupid mystery oven. I know, it's a party. What kind of parties are you going to? And ends it with a food-based rating system. I'm proud to award Smash Bros Ultimate with my highest possible review. Three Michelin Pickles. No matter which series Doug Doug chooses to create another episode of, the common core with his creativity is his dedication. As revealed in his challenges, he can get frustrated. This is fine! This is not fine! And spends so many hours trying to succeed. Coincidentally, it's revealed in his video essays that a lot of writing, recording, and editing took place in the production process of that very series, and clearly shows the month's work that went into it. Despite all of that work, he genuinely enjoys the content that he creates. What I found is that it's really, really enjoyable for me to work on this type of stuff. I'm literally producing content at like triple the rate that I was previously because now I'm enjoying it so much. And it's shown by the fact that Doug laughs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> The fact
fact that Doug Doug, in a sense, popularized a different genre of gaming that also incorporates elements of analysis, comedy, challenges, frustration, community interaction, and storytelling, gives hope to fellow content creators to create something new. It shows that a person who stuck to something for an entire year ended up becoming popular simply because he was providing a new type of content in the creative sphere that not many others stuck to. No matter if it's a video essay explained with food, or a gaming challenge using voice commands, the common threads were present throughout Doug Doug's content and showed that dedication, a friendly personality, and a new step on creative territory stemmed a career for this pepper. Also, did you know that Doug Doug is actually brothers with the person who made the beginner's guide? Special thanks to my five patrons who support me on Patreon. If you'd also like to support the channel, go to patreon.com slash or click the link in the description.